Now, I want to close with ISIS and Al Qaeda. Because they try. I'll shake your hand. No, 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 no. When you do that, God is with you. Because you're speaking against injustice. You are not to blame. But we are only to blame if some of our so-called Muslims do something evil and we are silent. Muslims killing each other. We've got to speak up against it. Leaders of Islamic nations putting the Quran behind their backs and wanting to be guided, but the light is in the book and the book is behind their back. Who's going to say it? When you see Joe Biden, that's his name, isn't it? <laughs> Joe Biden was talking to members of the Jewish community. Such a sycophant, you know. And he's saying to them, single-handedly, the Jewish people that are the, those that run Hollywood are singularly responsible for America's turn and acceptance of same-sex marriage. Biden said that. And I'm sure the Jewish people sitting there, they cringed. But he put the blame where it really belonged. Now how can you tell me as a Jew, you have a covenant relationship with Yahovah. And here the law that he forbids, you are pushing something that God disapproves of. Has that not damaged your relationship with the God and ruined your ability to say, I'm the chosen of God? Chosen to do what? See? So if good Jews don't stand up and say, this is wrong. You cannot call yourself a Jew and then violate the laws, statutes, and commandments of God and then lead others into doing evil. See, that is shaitan. They're not doing evil just themselves, but they're guiding others in the doing of evil. So men can love men freely now. Who will warn America? Come on. Women can love women freely now. Who will warn America? America went over there. Every time you look at that refugee problem, you're looking at the hands of America meddling in the Middle Eastern countries. And I can prove what I'm saying, this is maybe not the right forum for that.